This is NR2003 Predicts. We take the entry list of the top three NASCAR series, send them through the N ratings algorithm, set them up by their provisional lineups, and set the forecast as they will be on race day, and we see what the computer says will be the finishing order on race day. The domination of the 54 car continues as Christopher Bell steps into the seat and makes it 3-for-3 three three at this racetrack in the Xfinity Series. Austin Sendrick, AJ Allmendinger, Justin Haley, and Daniel Hemrick also inside the top five. Michael Annette out with a leg injury. He's going to miss out on some major points in terms of staying in the playoffs and troubles for some Joe Gibbs racing cars and Brandon Jones, who had struggled to stay on pace, and Harrison Burton, who crashed out. Now we move on to the cup event. Kyle Busch and Martin Truex Jr. out in front for 301 laps of racing. Here at New Hampshire, green flag is out. Kyle Busch gets a great jump and is able to maintain his momentum through the first turn. Martin Trex Jr. will stay there in second place. Cole Custer had a solid outing in his first cup race here last season, eighth place for him. He leads the way on the average finish, Denny Hamlin the top veteran among this field. Custer a little bit further back in the grid right now. Speaking of Hamlin, here he comes up to the inside of Truex Jr. looking for the lead on this race. Hamlin a three-time winner at this racetrack. Harvick has won here four times, the most among the active drivers, and really it's all been held by seven drivers, all with two wins or more. Here comes that four car, 13 top fives at this racetrack. Harvick most recently won here in 2019, had a victory here as well the year before. Now trying to work his way up the field, looking off the back of Kurt Busch, trying to challenge for fourth place. Ryan Newman, 20 top 10s at this racetrack, but right now it looks like he is in trouble going lap down really early in this race. He's only just in front of the 53 car, and the 11 is just behind him. So six car of Newman struggling to find speed early on. Kyle Busch, most laps led among the active drivers here today, but at the moment getting passed up by Harvick for fourth place. Started on the pole and has slipped back since. Hamlin took over the lead, and now he is starting to pull away with it. Has a very solid lead over William Byron. And it looks like we got some troubles here for Tyler Reddick going down in the turn one. And it sounds like something under the hood. He maintains his ground on the top line as some other cars go by, but he'll go down to the apron. And it looks like Anthony Alfredo, just a couple laps later, is going to have a similar issue. And it's going to be really terminal for him as he's going to... Kind of slip off to the inside of the racetrack. And now problems here. Coming to the end of stage one, Brian Blaney goes deeper into the corner than Eric Jones does. The 43 going to back it into the wall in turn one. Very lucky he didn't get nailed by James Davison in the 15, but 43 is still going to go around and have some issues. And that is going to bring a premature end to this stage. Hamlin wins it. Byron, Harvick, Truex Jr., and Kyle Busch make up the top five in that one cars will come down and get their pit service and we will get back to racing as Hamlin charges ahead of Byron and Harvick trying to make a move to get second place. Trouble here in the back of the field. A near three wide situation and that's going to tangle up Corey LaJoy, Ryan Priest and Garrett Smithley. Still go around on the back stretch and now we'll bring out another caution. Harvick's going to have the lead as Hamlin decided to pit along with a couple others. That's going to put the 11 Further back in the field, you can see he's trying to charge up through the grid, but he's going to get into the 99 of Daniel Suarez, turn him right in the middle of traffic. Oh, and he's going to get nailed. Seven of Corey LeJoy, I believe the 53 also got a piece of him. And that is going to take the 99, 7, and 53 out of the race with crash damage. And another situation with some drivers pitting, some not. Kevin Harvick gives up the lead, and Kyle Larson will assume it. Kurt Busch got that victory last week at Atlanta, and he really changes up the playoff pitcher as he has guaranteed his spot in. He was just at that 16th place spot, and now Trouble's here on the exit of turn four. Ryan Newman looks like he's had an engine problem. Michael McDowell got a little contact with him and also hit the inside wall, and the six is going to end up coming to a stop on the front straightaway, so that will require a caution and a restart. We talked about him struggling for pace early, and it looks like that might have been the issue. He just really had something going on underneath the hood. And now we see Truex Jr. working his way back to the front. 
and to the inside of the five car. He's going to take over the lead, and now Hamlin also going to try to challenge. Christopher Bell did not have a great showing in his first cup start here last season, finished 28th, but he is now 3-for-3 three three in the Xfinity Series. Having an okay showing right now, is off the lead lap, but trying to put up a decent run. Chris Buescher going a lap down again to Martin Drex Jr. as he tries to fight for a victory, but that's not going to happen today as he tries to keep his playoff hopes alive. It's going to be pretty much must win for everyone else. That is inside the top 16 at this point. Martin Drex Jr. will take the stage win. Hamlin, Elliott, Larson, and Dylan are going to make up the top five in this stage. So now we come to stage number three. Drex Jr. still out in front after the pit stops. But here comes the five car coming up for a charge. Larson won the King's Royal last night. World of Outlaws race at Eldora. And now we're going to see if he can claim a victory here at New Hampshire. Trying to work the inside line on Truex, and it looks like he'll clear him coming off turn four. The driver that had a pretty good Saturday was Chase Elliott, won the SRX race at Nashville Fairgrounds, but he's going to have his teammate, William Byron, go to his outside. So he tries to work his way up the field, and it looks like he is actually doing that. Byron finished second in the first stage, ninth in the second stage, and he has worked his way back into the second position, trying to track down his teammate. Brad Kozlowski is having a kind of off day. He was the most recent winner at this racetrack, won in the 2020 event, but he is not on the lead lap. He's the first car lap down and still maintaining pace with the four car of Harvick, but he is not going to be able to have a chance to go for victory here today. And now we're starting to see some pit stops under green flag. This should be the final stop of the day. Kyle Busch will come down, followed by Harvick and Truex Jr., but they are very well behind the 5 and the 24 as Byron has kept pace with Larson and he'll come down at the same time as the 5 car, but Larson just continues to stay at the front and maintains the gap, isn't able to necessarily gain on him. But they'll run out these final few laps and it looks like the 5 car is getting a little bit of a gap on the 24. Matt Benedetto was kind of involved in one of the biggest storylines this week as we learned Austin Sindrick and Harrison Burton would be promoted and Matt Benedetto would be left without a seat next season. And if he was looking for a chance to prove himself, it is not coming today as he is outside the top 20, several laps down. Five car of Kyle Larson has taken the white flag and he has over five seconds on his teammate, William Byron. Larson, a four time winner so far. Victories at Las Vegas, Charlotte, Sonoma, and Nashville, those latter three in succession. And almost got that victory at Pocono as well. Could have made it four straight, but he is going through these final corners and without any pressure from behind. It looks like it's going to be victory number five for the five car. Kyle Larson wins here today at New Hampshire. And this win comes on the heels of the news that he'll be running with Hendrick through at least 2023. And it looks like he's going to put up another victory for them as William Byron comes in just behind, followed by Denny Hamlin, Morton Drex Jr., and Kevin Harvick inside the top five. Three Joe Gibbs Racing cars inside the top ten. All four of the Hendrick cars inside the top ten, or more specifically the top eight. A very good run for the Hendrick team. Looking just outside the top ten, Brad Kozlowski will be the first one out. Christopher Bell, yesterday's Xfinity winner, comes home in 12th position. Solid run for Michael McDowell, got 15th place for him, and last week's winner, Kurt Busch, only able to muster up a 17th place run. Eric Jones, despite having a spin in Stage 1, he finished 20th. As I mentioned, Matt Benedetto, outside the top 24 laps down for him. Ryan Priest won the modified race here yesterday, he got 23rd. And at the tail end of the results chart, Tyler Reddick, engine issue for him, sets him in the last place, will not jeopardize his playoff hopes just yet, but obviously don't want to have a lot of those right at the end of the regular season. That is it for NRHS3 Predicts. We hope you enjoy the race, and we will see you all next time.